Today we're going to show you how to do some open cuts and wounds with low budget Elmer's glue and toilet paper and also we're going to be using some fake skin wax. Start off first with putting a base layer of glue down on the skin. Apply the paper and build a small lip to simulate the raised edges of the skin. Next start applying glue to the edges of your wound. It will help make it look more realistic and also keep your wound intact as it starts to dry. Next you can start applying your color. You can use uh, any color that you have in hand that you usually use. Here I'm preferring to use a bruising wheel. It has blue, brown, red, green, and yellow. I start off with my dark colors and then raise them up with maroons and reds for the center. You can also start with the outside with a little bit of yellow and green and a slight bit of red to add a bruising effect. Once you really work the color into the toilet paper, you can go back and use some Vaseline. This will help everything adhere together and it makes a nice smear and a pussy gloss. Next you can start applying a light layer to the surface to add a glisten look to it. This will definitely make your cut or bruise or boil pop out. And here we're just adding some extra little highlights to make it pop. I've also noticed that your colors stand up longer when using Vaseline and if you have to do some tweaks here and there, it definitely helps out. Now we're going to be doing a latex cut on her face. Go ahead and start tearing your toilet paper. I have it folded over so I can make the entry wound on the top. You can either do a scratch and rip it, or you can do a stab wound and cut it with scissors. When you're painting the latex on, make sure to blend it in well, and you can also put the latex over top the toilet paper. Next in the center, start with your darkest colors off and go on light. You can also twirl some small pieces of toilet paper and put them in there as muscle fiber. Now before you do this to the model, make sure they do not have any skin allergies. You can test a small portion and just make sure that they're not allergic to the latex. Nothing to laugh at. Apologize. No one to cry. Just another dirty great day. Who the hell, you fucking bitch? And now we're gonna show you how to use scar wax. Today we're gonna put the cut right here, as though she's been stabbed in the heart by a knife. Start with a worm-sized piece of scar wax. You don't need much. Just keep it flush with the skin and enough in, raised up in the middle so you can make your cut. While working with scar wax, your own body heat can make it quite tacky. So if you notice this happening, you can use a wood or metal spatula. With the center of the cut, apply your dark makeup. And as you're doing so, make sure to slightly raise up on the edges of the wound. Now on the outside, a normal cut would have some bruising and irritation marks. Just a few dots and blend them out well. It'll make it look really realistic. To sell this special effect, add in some fake blood and there you go, you have yourself a cut. So as far as this goes, we completed all the, uh, the fake gore and everything on her. Um, let's start off with the one up here on our cheek. Um, as you can see, this is latex. There is some drying time. With the bottom line of the wound, you can see that the makeup blended quite well. As far as the top goes, I ended up using too much Vaseline. Therefore, my makeup smeared quite a bit. Make sure you don't make this mistake. Now, as far as the cut, the stab wound that we did, you can see this one looks more realistic. Um, this is nearly inexpensive as well. And as you can see, we got some really realistic depth into it and everything. Um, the downside is when it gets hot out, you're going to see that this gets quite tacky and it could be harder to work with. Now the toilet paper and Elmer's glue theme. This is cheap and inexpensive. 
and it also blends pretty well with Vaseline and whatnot. So this is a pretty cool like, topic that I found. Did you not like it or did you like it? I didn't like it and I liked it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, but I liked certain parts of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. But all in all, I watched, I, I, I saw it on Netflix and I was like, this is crap. Yeah, it was a crap for me. But like, um, the demon guy when he goes and he's climbing on the side of the wall. Yeah. That totally freaked me out. Yeah, there were, there were moments. And then the family and the living room. Where they're all smiling funny, yeah. Yeah, yeah there were moments.